Have you ever found yourself pondering over the admission process in South Korea? Well, wonder no more. Today, we unravel the intricacies of this process, breaking it down into manageable steps that could potentially guide you or someone you know in navigating the academic terrain of this East Asian country. The first step in this journey requires a keen understanding of the academic year in South Korea. Unlike some countries, the academic year in South Korea begins in March and ends in February the following year. The admission process, therefore, typically commences in the fall of the previous year, around September or October. The next step in line is choosing your preferred institution and course of study. A variety of world-class universities offer a wide range of courses to choose from. These include the prestigious Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University, collectively known as the Sky Universities. Once you've selected your institution and course, you must prepare and submit your application. This process usually involves completing an online application form, submitting academic transcripts, and providing letters of recommendation. Depending on the institution and course, you might also need to submit a statement of purpose detailing your academic and career goals. South Korea, being a non-English speaking nation, requires proof of language proficiency from its international applicants. This proof can be in the form of a test of proficiency in Korean, topic, score for those intending to study in Korean, or a TOEFL, or EELT score for those intending to study in English. This forms the next crucial step in the admission process. A step that often follows is the interview. Some universities in South Korea may require applicants to undergo an interview process, either in person or via video call, as part of their admission process. This gives the admission committee a chance to assess the applicant's suitability for the course. The final step in the admission process involves receiving and accepting the admission offer. Once the university has reviewed all applications, they send out admission offers to successful applicants. Applicants then have to accept these offers to secure their place at the university. So, to put it all together, the admission process in South Korea involves understanding the academic year, choosing an institution and course, preparing and submitting an application, providing proof of language proficiency, possibly attending an interview, and finally, receiving and accepting an admission offer. Remember, while this process might seem daunting, it is a journey well worth the effort, leading to an enriching academic experience in a country known for its technological advancements, cultural richness, and high-quality education. And there you have it, the admission process in South Korea, demystified. With these steps in mind, navigating the academic landscape of South Korea could become a more approachable task. The world of Korean academia awaits you.